can see all the joy and laughter. We live happily ever after. Sky blue, no clouds in view, and the sun will never end. Never end. Are you getting the vibe we're sending? We've discovered a happy ending. We can build a life fulfilled where there's nothing left to mend. Skip the other chats, it's cut to the chase. Life's a game of chance, but we have the ace. Put a never ending smile on your face, cause it's a happy ever after kind of place. So we've now had the iPads for about half a term and we've been rolling those out gradually to our top and bottom of the school. So we've been using our Key Stage 2 children, our Year 5s and 6s, and our Early Years Foundation Stage children. And then as we progress with the project we're going to bridge that gap through to the middle. When we first got the iPads, like, no one really knew what they were like for, but as we started using them we started getting the hang of how to use them. And it's like made our uh, learning a bit better because you can go on like internet and f like find information and stuff. Some apps they have are good for learning and drawing and stuff like that. We um, did work for our assembly and we took the iPads like showing the iPads around the school and we put it on the Apple TV so the whole school could see all our work. And the iPads themselves are a brilliant way of getting children involved in the curriculum but it's also a great way of getting them to work together, working collaboratively and when they then present their work at the end they've got something that they can show that looks fantastic uh, and that shows a broader range of their skills really. This is by me, Rosie and Lewis who made it. I can run this school and I'm um, different people in each class and then like what we liked. In mathletics, it's, it's good for mathletics because you get to get better at um, our maths and sometimes our literacy. Moving forwards, we want to make sure that we've got iPads integrated into every part of our curriculum so that they're being used in every class by every child on a daily basis. That's our small and first step. The next step is to then make sure that children are developing a range of skills that are outside of our statutory requirements and also making sure that the children are just getting the enjoyment out of using new devices like iPads. Long term, we want to see a vision for children having much more access to iPads and technology within the classroom and using them integrated into different topics, into our literacy, into our maths, into science, but also looking at other topic areas where the children can really, really get to grips with some of the apps or some of the software that they can really engage with, learn new things, and actually getting the teachers to drive that forwards. <laughs>